Hey guys, Catalina here. I am the labs manager at Discovery Place Science. Today we are in my kitchen getting ready to dissect a chicken leg. Now you may be wondering why a chicken leg? Well, it turns out that many animals, including chickens, have similar bone and muscle structures to humans. Today we're going to compare the structures we see in the chicken leg to the structures in our very own body. A little bit of background before we get started. Our body is made up of many systems that work closely together to make our bodies function. Two of these systems that we will be looking at today are the skeletal and the muscular system. They work together closely to help us move. By dissecting our chicken leg, we'll be able to get a closer look at how these systems work together. Now let's get dissecting. The first thing you'll notice is the skin. Chickens have skin just like humans do, except theirs is covered in feathers instead of hair. You can see all the follicles here where the feathers grew. If we turn the chicken leg over, you'll see the meat, which is actually the chicken's muscle. You may also notice some yellow jelly-like substance that's actually the fat. Now, another thing we see here at the end of the bone is cartilage. You may have heard that word before. It's what makes up most of your nose and ears, but you can actually find it at the ends of your bones. It protects your bones and keeps them from touching constantly and wearing down. Now let's flip that leg back over and look under the skin. As I pull back the skin, you may see some blood vessels. These blood vessels, just like in our skin, carry oxygen and other nutrients to our skin and our muscles. Let's pick up our leg and see how it bends. This here is called a joint and is the part where two bones meet. This joint in particular is just like your knee joint. We call it a hinge joint because it only opens and closes in one direction. We'll get a closer look at this joint in just a moment. Let's see what's inside our muscle. I'm going to carefully cut away at a little bit of this muscle. What you'll notice here are these long white strings called tendons. These tendons, just like the ones found in our body, connect muscle to bone and actually allow them to move together. Without bones, our body would have no shape and nowhere for the muscles to attach to. But without muscles, our bones would not be able to move. They rely on one another and work together. I'm going to keep cutting away at this muscle so we can get a better look at the bones and joints. I'm going to set this chicken muscle aside so I can cook later. Don't want it to go to waste. Let's take a look at these bones. The bone you see here is the femur. It connects all the way from your knee to your hip joint and it's actually the largest bone in your body. Another important connector in our body are ligaments. They're a bit tougher to find on the chicken leg, but you can see some here around the knee joint. Just like ligaments in our body, they connect bone to bone. Down here below the knee joint, we see two more bones. These are similar to the tibia and the fibula found in our leg, our shin bones. Except for the chicken leg, the fibula is so tiny we can barely see it. The next thing we can do is break apart the hinge joint. As we look more closely, we see all the cartilage between the femur and the tibia. Lastly, we can cut into the femur to take a look at the bone marrow. If you've ever broken into a cooked chicken leg, this marrow might look dark, but because it's raw, we see this red jelly-like substance inside the bone. This bone marrow is where all of your red blood cells are made. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed learning how to dissect a chicken leg. This is something you can definitely do at home using scissors, tweezers, and some toothpicks. Now I'm gonna go take this leftover chicken and make myself some chicken stock.